happening tonight, a massive rally in support of the American flag plan tomorrow at Valdosta State University. Now, this event in response to a student stomping on it and burning the flag last week. Well, just minutes ago, the university announced it's canceling all classes and all on-campus events tomorrow because of security concerns. Fox 5's Chris Shaw reports for us. Well, organizers estimate there could be more than 4,000 people at this pro-American flag rally tomorrow, but the purpose of this event, pure patriotism, may be overshadowed. To say the red, white, and blue is a proud part of this Valdosta gas station is probably an understatement. After all, even the Mike and Son sign is red, white, and blue. If you live in the United States, it should mean, I and mean, that should be the the heart of an individual, I feel like. You can look high, you can look low, or just try to cross any Valdosta street and you'll find people just like Scott. Their feelings are not new, but people are more eager to share them in light of this. Valdosta State student Eric Shepard, now a wanted man, last week was just a 22-year-old protesting what he called white supremacy racism by stepping on and burning the flag. Men and women that went overseas to fight for that flag, and we don't need them here in the United States degrading it. Thousands of people will come to Valdosta Friday to make that same point. Organizers of a rally and a drive around campus predict a massive show of support for the red, white, and blue. But on campus, there's hesitation. Social media has blown things up, so, and a lot of the comments are not are from people who aren't students. The fear of many on campus is that the social media threats and rumors of violence from people who don't even live in Valdosta but are drawn to the racial tension of this controversy will create conflict. The GBI and FBI are concerned too. There will be an army of law enforcement during this event Friday. Now, am I trying to calm people down? Absolutely. What I want people to understand is let's don't get carried away. Let's back away, take a deep breath, and let's let law enforcement do their job. It's sad, and I don't want to say that, because, you know, I want to think of the university as safe, but at the same time, I understand that, you know, in the real world, anything could happen. We have been in Valdosta all week. We have brought you stories you haven't seen anywhere else, and we will be there when that rally starts at 1230 tomorrow afternoon. Reporting in Valdosta, Chris Shaw, Fox 5 News. Now to a Fox